Okay, I am recording a video on my Samsung Galaxy S3 from Boost Mobile or Sprint Virgin Mobile, doesn't really matter because it's the same model. Um, I'm recording this video because I haven't really posted any videos on my channel. All my Infuse 4G videos got taken down because of an uh, app ad. <coughs> That was on there, and apparently someone reported or something. Uh, but yeah, they're all taken down. And right now it's a video of my Galaxy S3, which I'm recording with a HTC One SV, also with Boost Mobile. While you're asking why I'm shouting out Boost Mobile and stuff, well, because I'm selling those phones now. And therefore, I want good publicity for these. And right now, mine is rooted, stock ROM, with... Change stuff. Watch, look at that. Wahaha! Boost Galaxy S3. This is sort of a showing slash review of my Galaxy S3 on Boost Mobile. If you want a splash screen like that, or any other splash screen, I have a couple made on XDA developers form. Sorry for the shakiness. Yeah, still can lock. You have to wait. Sorry for the blurry blurries. Can I lock now? Yes, I can. Okay. Unlock. Right now, I have it sensed out, as you can see. Only because I am on stock ROM 4.4.2 ND8 with a kernel, a custom kernel, KTunes, I believe, with the NDC bootloader. Now, I am uh, installed with root a bunch of apps from the Wicked X 7.3 and 7.2 ROM. Sorry for using them with for this video, but I really like those, and I found some, a ROM basically that worked for my phone the best so far. I am going to try out other custom ROMs and stuff for my phone, but I will keep a backup of this setup. But watch. Set theme. S5. Apply. Applied. And see? Back to S5. But as I said, I prefer the Sense 5 theme. HTT theme. <clears throat> as I'm doing this, you get to see the speed of it. Sure, the Infuse did have a bit of and I'm using my left hand, so that's why it's also a little weird, but the Infuse 4G was kind of fast for having one processor, or single core, while this is quad, I believe. Settings. Just so you see, settings are stock, though Wicked X is a custom TouchWiz interface. It would look basically like this. Hey, who would have thought? I never got out the developer things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah, stay awake. Meh. Okay. Yeah, basically, I have it like that. <coughs> I have and that's my dad over there testing out a new sound system that he got and completely fucked with the video right now. But yeah, when I'm exposed, which is what I used. 
to get the advanced power menu and screenshot and whatnot within the stock ROM. And see, Galaxy Apps, Play Store, Flashlight, which for some reason doesn't come stock on the ROM. But currently, I'm using this flashlight. Really, Dad? Really? Wow. Alright. Okay, stop for now. I said I'm using that flashlight app from the Galaxy App Store. I have both Galaxy Apps and Play Store installed currently. So I don't miss out on all the cool free apps. Because, sure, though I do develop a little bit, I don't really like ads at all. But, so I stay away from ad, um, uh, free apps with ads. Some of you may shun me for that, but, eh, meh. That's just me. Set, well, no, meh, back, back. I said, set, well, there. I just created two empty folders for no apparent reason. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Stay. Put it here. God, okay, I'm gonna switch hands. It's gonna be a lot easier for me. Okay. Yeah. Removed. Removed. Okay. Me. Set wallpaper. Home wallpaper. Or screen. Stock. S5. This color. That blobbity blob mess. This one. That one. This one. That one. That one. Both. Let's go with the stock theme. Why not? Set wallpaper. Ever since using this phone, I freaking fell in love with it. I love this phone. Music app. Do 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 do. Scroll 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 scroll. Home. Samsung Music is, I updated it to the latest one, and now it's telling me, no, you need milk or cool play because we're saying fuck you now. Close. Samsung Video still works, though for some reason, I don't know why. If I can find it, can I find it? I don't think I can find it. Oh, yes, that's right. Because it's under Samsung Hub. Mer. Close. Video. That's what I wanted. I can't sign in for some reason. Watch. Go. Content. Samsung. I have my Samsung account on here, but for some reason, won't let me log in. Announcement as of blah 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 because I don't really care. But yes, this is my ROM, and I will show you a quick um, uh, how to on my um, uh, splash screens recovery. Yes, <clears throat> I will show you a quick how to on my splash screens that I have created which are on XDA, which I will provide the link if you want it, which I've only tested it on this model, running with fillers on both stock and custom ROMs. You can have a look at them. A couple people have downloaded some, but yes, that's just a couple people, not everyone. I am also looking to change this splash screen, because as you saw before, I had Darth Maul. But yes, I'm looking to change that one, but... I'm figuring it out as I go. Let's see. Install the zip. 
choose the zip for my SD card one. I know it's hard to see, but man. It's the camera on the phone, I promise. Let's go with TARDIS. I created a TARDIS theme. I'm sorry that it's so blurry. Hmm, 10 minute video so far. Now this is just a quick video as a review slash showing off slash whatever you want to call it of my Galaxy S3 on Boost. That's how I have it right now. And a quick tutorial on how to flash my splash screens. Obviously you just don't flash zip and then it's there. No, you have to go on to the site that I'm going to provide of XDA, my sub form, should I say, or sub thread. And you have to get the zip file, put it onto your SD card, and download it. Yes, do that. Wipe cache, or cache, cache, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Cache. Wipe the cache. 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 Now, oh, fuck, the battery life on this thing is fucking crazy. My dad, for some reason, likes to enjoy interrupting my videos for some reason. Again, interrupting my video. Music I don't even like, but whatever. I told him I was gonna do a video too, what the hell? Why I've been catching. And for those of you that say, well, that's not the Galaxy S3 because it circles blah 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 and that blah, blah blah blah, it is the Galaxy S3 for Boost Mobile. I uh, just have a case on it and it's fucking hard to take off or else I would show you, but camera, flash, speaker. Heck <laughs> you. People that doubt. <clears throat> but yeah. A lot of people will point out, oh, this circle there, that circle there, this. It isn't real because of this shit and that shit. Well, for your information, people that doubt about the realness of a phone, it fucking is. I've checked. It is a real Galaxy S3, so stop whining and bitching. Because unless everyone on XDA has a fake Galaxy S3 for Sprint, Boost, and Virgin, then meh. But yeah, see? Trust me, I'm the doctor. But yes, I make stuff like that. Uh, but I technically didn't invent the f way to do that, so I'm partially developing, in a way. Will this go all the way 4G? Oh, yeah, 4G LTE. minutes. Seconds. Whatever. But yes, this is... Has been a review of this phone so far. I would have used the screen recorder, but I'm too lazy. And I wanted you to see that I'm not, that this is in fact a Galaxy S3. Now, as I said, I will be replacing the screen pretty soon. Or not the screen, but the protector. My name is Juan. What the fuck? Um, I will replace this protector case that I bought for 50 bucks, though I feel like I was ripped off from Radio Shack. Because it protects, but it's already fucking broken right there, and I wanted a ballistic case, but it didn't have any ballistic cases. Or the UAG case, but that one just seems hell of expensive for no reason. I'm going go on Amazon next time. See, look. Every time you flash flash screen, it will do the whole optimizing app thing. I don't know why, when it's just a splash screen, but since it messes with the kernel and whatnot, then it has no choice but to go through this process. Once it finishes doing that and does a full boot up, I will end this video and you guys can ask questions, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want to do. It's your life. I can't force you to do shit. But yeah. That's basically it. Once it finishes booting up. But yes. 
I make splash screens. If you want me to make a splash screen for you, because you feel too lazy, or you feel like you'll break your device, if you try to make one and it doesn't work, I test all of them before I publish them onto XDA. Now that I have my Galaxy S3, at least, I test them now. But yeah. Bitty bitty bitty, shiny shiny shiny. But yes. Never released untested firmware. Or zip files, you will break your device. If you just make it and say, hey, it's gonna work, it probably won't. Test it. Sure, your device might get broken, but at least someone else's won't get broken and they won't bitch at you for breaking it. Or boot looping it or whatever. Yes, every time that you flash something, make sure, make fucking sure that you make a backup and wipe catchy and delvic catchy. Catchy, catchy, I don't know, something. Me. Meh. Meh. I know, Peter Pie's thing, whatever. But yeah, that's it for my review type of thing. And that's my phone saying bye bye. So bye. See you hasta mañana, master leg, wego, whatever, though, homes, whatever. Yeah, review slash whatever the fuck you want to call it thing of my Galaxy S3. And if you ask what happened to my knuckles, I won't reply. Because <laughs> I'm crazy like that, homes, whatever. Bye. I'll just wait till it goes to 17 minutes. Maybe put a little tune or something. Wind's blowing. It's blowing. Oh, yeah, it is. It's blowing. Pasha.